This stuff is really delicious. No, really. Fry up a couple of slices in a pan with some onions, eggs, little Parmesan. It does not get any better. <laughs> okay, I tried that same sales pitch with my wife uh, when we were evacuating for Hurricane Ian, just in case we'd be without normal food. She wasn't having any of it either. Fortunately, the hotel we stayed in had a restaurant and a generator. Dodge the bullet. This five minute coach segment has nothing to do with this canned meat deliciousness, as you might have guessed. It's all about how to avoid being relegated to spam jail when you send your customers emails. So let's hit it. I'm John Quaddy, the five minute coach. Let's face it, there is no sense spending time, money, and effort creating great client-facing content if your emails are never opened. So in this course, we'll discuss how you can stay out of customers' spam folders by implementing some effective tactics to increase your open rates. Average email open rates hover plus or minus in the 20% range, depending on the prospect and the context of the message. Newsletters have a higher open rate than promos, and welcome emails score higher than transactional ones. Suffice it to say, though, if you're generally in the 15 to 25% neighborhood with open rates, you're doing pretty well. If not, begin by looking at your subject lines. If you hit your favorite search engine, you'll find posts with titles like 188 spam words to avoid or the ultimate spam trigger list or even <clears throat> avoid these 284 deadly spam words. That last one sounds like a movie trailer. <laughs> Instead of trying to show you every possible trigger word that might dump your email into a spam folder, there are five keyword categories to avoid. First up, manipulative words, which tend to promote urgency, act now, or limited time offer, or even hurry are all examples of these. Next, outlandish claims like once in a lifetime or lose weight fast. Third, inappropriate greetings like dear friend or just hello without a name. Next, needy please like can you help or please read this. And then finally, ghost spam, which reads, this isn't junk or spam free. Besides those spammy words, you should also avoid symbols like dollar signs, percentages, and really almost anything uppercase on a keyboard, aside from first word capitalization. Also avoid links to sketchy websites, colorful and different sized fonts, and emails without an unsubscribe option. All right, next let's talk about what to do to increase your email open rates. And we'll break it down by cold lead emails, warm leads, and hot leads. For cold prospects, do some research if possible and be engaging. I can help you with blank, whatever it is you're trying to sell them on. Or if through a little social research, you determine the customer has an interest in, say, trucks, your subject line might look like this. If trucks are your thing, I have an idea for you. It's amazing what you can learn about somebody on Facebook or LinkedIn. For warm prospects, name drop where possible and personalize the follow-up. Mandy suggested I get in touch with you. Or, Alan, this competitive comparison might help in your vehicle decision. For hot prospects, just give them what they're looking for. I'd sure like to help you with your next vehicle or you won't believe the new tailgates on our pickups. Understand that spam folders really are only part of the story. You may enjoy strong email open rates but have a high bounce rate or a low click through. That may speak to things like general content quality or maybe even the need to scrub your CRM data. But first things first, get as many eyes as possible on your emails by avoiding spam jail. And that is it for this episode of The 5-Minute Coach. I'm John Quaddy. See ya.